Hey everyone, welcome. Rabbit here with Rabbit Mining, and today we're going to go over a uh, gear video more towards the new people. There's a lot of questions about how to mine cryptocurrencies, how to mine Bitcoin, and we're not going to get into great detail about that. You need special ASIC miners to actually mine Bitcoin itself. But this is a way you can mine multiple coins and get paid in Bitcoin. So if you're curious about how to mine, this is probably the easiest way to set something up and actually start mining. This is how I actually started crypto mining. And all you, do, all you need is your gaming PC. So if you're a gamer and you don't want a big fancy rig or you're just curious about it, this video is for you. Continue watching and by the end of it, you will be mining and receiving Bitcoin all by yourself. So step one and the first thing you got to do is just head over to nicehash.com. All links will be in the description. Then you'll just have to pretty much register like you register anywhere else. Set up your uh, email and everything. Then you'll get a confirmation email. Log in. When you finally get in, then you'll go to your dashboard, mining, and then you'll just have to download the hardware. So right here, nice hash miner. I have the link already up here. You will have to just click here. And it'll pop up, Windows may detect it as a virus. Don't worry, that's normal. Always happens. Anything to do with mining always gets flagged. So don't worry about it. <laughs> At least for this one for sure, because it's legit. There are stuff out there that is flagging and is bad. So just kind of know what you're doing. Do your research first. But nice hash, nice hash is safe. Don't have to worry. You may have to go into your settings here if it does not let you download it. And just, well, it's just before you click it here, you'll just have to go into your security put it to no protection, turn off, and then click the link. Once it's down, downloading here, then just go right back in there, turn it back on and cancel out and you're good to go. You'll have it downloaded, it's safe. Step two, find the folder where you did download it. Double click on nice hash miner once you extract it and it'll start the installation process. It'll ask for your login and everything that you've done previously to get into the website. So you put in your login information there to log in It'll bring you up to this little page. Now, once you're in here, I'll load it up. You can see it'll detect your devices, what you got installed into your gaming PC or your normal PC, whatever it is, doesn't matter. First thing, we're going to want benchmarks. I always prefer precise. It'll take longer to benchmark. Now, that just tests all your, uh, either if you're going to use CPU, you can turn it off or on right here. But it'll, it'll benchmark uh, everything you have in your computer, whether it's your graphics card or your CPU, against all the different algorithms. And an algorithm is just what each coin is on. It's just its main network. And it'll tell you how fast each thing does. And then it'll have an idea. If I scroll down here, you can see these are all the different algorithms that multiple coins are on. And it'll find out everything. And it's profit switching, so it'll find whatever is the most profitable at the time. And it'll switch in mind to that based on how your benchmarks came out. So benchmarking is really important in here. Once you do benchmark, make sure you turn off all applications and everything that you don't need on. That way it doesn't interfere because you want to try to get the best benchmarks you can so you can get maximum profitability. Run through the settings here a bit. This will be your Bitcoin wallet address. This is what you'll get paid into. It is on the NAS NiceHash site. Then you say you can name your worker, which is what you're mining with. Your worker is your PC. I just named it Robin Mining PC. Per day, mine regardless of profit, that's just default on. Change where your location is. So you want the closest place to you or you'll be a higher latency to wherever server. So if you're in China, here's Hong Kong, Japan, Tokyo, and so on. I am in Canada, so I'm using USA. For that is the closest, I put it in Canadian funds. So you can just go through the settings, set it the way you want, and you're good to go. Don't really have to go through anything else to get more technical. This is just a beginner based guide. So it's just pretty much point click, hit the play button and go. So just get you up and mining. Then in future videos here, because I plan on making a little series, then we'll get into multiple wallets, uh, overclocking, all that other stuff. But right now, this is a beginner guide just to get people that are curious about mining into mining and just test it out and like it yourself. But warning, GPU mining can be highly addictive. Once you see your hash rates, you just want to keep gathering them up, getting more and more and more. And, well, next thing you know, you're just like everyone else, every other crypto miner out there. You just want more cards, bigger rigs, more rigs. <laughs> so, <laughs> just a hit of advice. Be careful. It can be addicting. But anyway, we're just starting off beginner trials right here. And one more thing. If you do plan on CPU mining with a Ryzen processor, you're going to want, nice, uh, want to run NiceHash as an administrator. 
So if you load it up normally without admin rights, you'll see it's going to load up here. And now when you click the start mining button, it'll say failed to apply MSR mod, hash rate will be low. So now we're going to close this up, exit out, make sure it's closed, close. Now we're going to run it as administrator. And you will see it will actually load that value and you get more hash rate that way. Now we're going to play it again. There you go. Registered values for Ryzen 17H. Preset has been set successfully. Now, when I'm not recording, because the recording the screen right now requires quite a bit of CPU power, but um, normally I mine about 14,400 hashes, and when you don't have huge pages in, uh, loaded through Administrator, you actually only mine like 13,000, I think it is, 13,200 in there as your hash rate. So you lose quite a bit, which is like, on low end process, that's almost like a whole processor, <laughs> depending what you're using. But yeah, that's how you pretty much mine with nice hash. Once you have all your benchmarks and everything going, you load it up and you just hit play and you just wait and in comes profit. <laughs> Nothing but profit. Okay, so now we're up and mining a nice hash. Now it says we're making $3 a day. I think it went up to like 320 but that always changes. You never know. Prices go up, prices go down. That's the crypto market. So we're just going to have a look here, see how long it would actually take to pay my gaming PC off just through mining through NiceHash. So I paid $2,400. That's with the case, PSU, card, motherboard, processor, everything. So we're going to look at $3 a day. We're going to times that by 31 for a month. So $93 a month. So we're going to take $2,400. We're going to divide that by 93 so it's going to take 25 months divide that by 12 for years so just over two years to pay off my whole gaming pc just by mining that's some nice little extra chunk of cash in the pocket don't you think build a new pc in two years from now with better parts but at the same time uh that's when you're mining 24 hours a day now most likely you're not going to be you're going to be gaming so let's just double that up we'll times it by two because you're only going to mine for 12 hours a day at night time so let's say four years four four years only mining at night that's still more money than you have just for gaming and shutting it off so it's it's pretty good profit profit what do you guys think all right well by now hopefully you're up and mining and you're making some bitcoin congrats to you <laughs> Hope you get, end up having fun doing it. Now in the next video or next couple videos here, we'll go over wallets because transferring out of NiceHash to Coinbase is free, no fees, and then you can do whatever you want. Try, split your coins between other currencies, swap it over to something, put it in a separate wallet. We'll go over some wallets. We'll go over some overclocks to get better hash rates. Like I said, this is just the basic. Here, like if I hit three, I'm 1150 on the core, minus two or minus 200 on the core, 1150 on the memory, which is Ethereum based. They use higher memory, so like Dagger Hashimo, which is Ethereum, I should be pulling about 33 mega hash here. And then Octopus here, if I hit here, 200 on the core, 300 on memory, I should be around the 38 mega hash with my card. But these are just the standard ones, because unless you want to constantly flip these every time it switches, then it's a lot more time consuming you got to watch it more but this is in the middle kind of what i have it there at zero zero and that way it has an even amount through them all that way you can just click and profit switch and leave so this is just a basic get started mining video next couple videos we'll go over the wallets we'll go over the overclocks and try to maximize your profits and try other platforms and see if they're better for you and how much you start liking it so Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you out and got you mining if you weren't sure about it or if you're kind of up in the air. So I'll catch you on the next one and stay tuned. Rob it out.